But a dead outlaw is a good outlaw, as I always say. the moldy bread bread lying around. No, I won't take that. No matter how much you want me to take it. I shall be selling... Don't ask her about the Nogas, you may remember, because she will throw you out or hide, go in hiding for a time, so... Let us sell... One of those. Mm, this one. This one. This one. And this one. Okay. I, I have it equipped. Oh, okay. I don't have the holy. Do oh, yes, I have Yes, okay. Child's necklace, the alchemist, and Can I sell the child's necklace? Yeah, come on. Don't need it. Over 20,000 bucks now, which is kind of nice. Um. So. Goodbye. Um. Still. I have something to sell at the blacksmith, I guess. And here, of course, yep. Magical gloves. Ah, oh, we still have those! Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Do I need them? Leather cape equipped. Let's sell those fur boots. Does he have a decent cape? No, he doesn't have any cape at all. Leather armor, quilted armor, sell leather armor. Not at all. Not at all. Where's the blacksmith there? Wielded. Cheap katana. Unenchantable crap. Priest plate. We should keep this. Unholy twisted rape here. Requires evil alignment. Mm. Guess we can sell it, right? Oh, maybe I keep it. I don't know why, but I will keep it. I have enough money, so I'm not that encumbered, so pff, who cares? Low quality spike may sell. I will this. The cutthroat can be sold. The magic staff. Hmm. Twelve, seven to nineteen. Uh, rock bow, action arrows, edge gauntlets, equip. Yeah, because they are damaged a bit, they are worth a little bit less than the other ones I just received. Dragon belt, apprentice repair hammer, intermediate repair hammer, poison arrows. Firm's teeth for sword. Dragon oh, this is nice. 4 to 20? 7 to 90? Hey, this is this is kinda better, isn't it? Where did I get it? I really cannot remember where I got where I where I got this uh this dragon blade. 4 to 20, 7 to 90. So let's let's equip it then. Totally forgot where I got it. Did I receive it in a quest? Uh, or in a side quest? Hmm. Ah, oh, nevertheless. Oh, uh, no, before I, I ask him to repair, let's try to repair my things myself. I have apprentice. Condition broken. Intermediate repair hammer, yeah, okay. Um. really can't do it. Okay, do you have anything else which is on the average? No, because then, in that case, I will ask this guy to have my things repaired. Okay. What else can I sell? Um, this is broken, right?
Uh, no way. Ah, oh, fuck. Like this. Okay. It, it's edge gloves, yeah? Gauntlet, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, what else? Let's continue selling. Do I have something left? I guess not. Uh, equip plate boots. No. What do you have to sell, my good sir? And what am I wearing? Night helm armor 4. 4. Dark night helm. Hmm. No, I'm guess I'm doing good here. Okay. What do edge gauntlets have? Two. Mm -hmm. Also two. Outfit swell armor for no quality armor pants. No, okay. I guess I'm doing fine. Ah, you know what? Because I have enough money, I will have a sleep here in the tavern. 72 bucks. Yeah, not too bad. Well. Fully rested, increased for a while. Yes, nice, nice, very nice. Okay. Let's head back to the wilderness and. Let us see what awaits us in the western regions. Because I don't really don't want to come back when I um, when I cross the bridge to the to the eastern part of the continent. To the, yeah, to the eastern part of the continent. Maybe I will set a mark before the bridge so that so I don't have to pay this um, this toll fee every time again. Okay. And now pure evilness awaits me. Oh. Skeleton, ach, oh, come on. I think I should have gone here before. <laughs> ah, this sword is powerful. Dispel potion and a wand of shield. Okay. Oh, there's another one up here. Bread. I don't want your stale bread. What does a skeleton want with stale bread? <laughs> maggoty meat. Fuck you. I don't want maggoty meat. This is this the place I was talking about? I guess. Uh. Uh -huh. No idea what you're talking about, what you're trying to say. I think this is the place I was talking about. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let us mark it on our map. No, we don't. Um, um, crypt, crypt, crypt entrance. So, uh, I think I will be Spilanka. Uh huh. Venom bats are not really a match for me. Also, those skeletons can suck my cock. People, I'm warning you. I'm, I'm uh, doing my. Oh, 
Double stars. Uh, cannot use, cannot use. Okay. I will do my little lunch break soon enough, but not yet. I will try to explore this cave a little bit. No, I don't want to go through it. Oh, but let's mark it. Um. Uh. Hole. Hole in wall. Okay. Oh, I am so excited! I'm so freaking excited! I hope it will... Ah, oh, they shuffled me now. These undead bastards with their armors and red bones! What did you eat, motherfucker? Ah, you son of a gun, you... But at least they're doable. Oh, it's a venom bed. It's two venom beds. Poison, all right. Ah, it poisoned me, yeah. But I have killed poison spell, don't I? Of course not. Um, so poison. Sell. Don't need. Ah, I can use the wand, maybe. Mm hmm. Ah, let's not go there yet. You can't read the table. Something scraped off the runes. Oh. Wonder who that was. Gold is always nice. Oh, these dumb monsters are actually doable. So the difficulty curve goes from north to south in this game. We had a very easy dungeon in Matras. Um, and yeah, I think the eastern part of the continent will then maybe get harder, I think. Yeah. Um, come on, come here. I just hit into the air blindly and you will follow my command. Uh, this is yes, I can use that. I have no idea what I'm talking about here. Hi, how's it hanging? Push. There, okay. I hope there won't be a undead king plus 111. Uh, I don't know what. I don't think there will be only skeletons here. At least there's some nice loot running around. Uh, li running around. Yeah, there's loot running around here. Sure, Martyr. Sure, sure. Oh. Get to save. Realm of the Damned, uh huh. The door is locked and you don't have the right key. Also, it seems to be trapped. Your disarm scale may not be enough. Oh, I don't want to. But I kinda remember something I read in the forums. Contaminated water? Uh, we didn't want to take that, but. It was mentioning some kind of pool, bubbling pool where this key was located, but I haven't seen one yet. This? Not really. Okay. Oh, oh what's that? What is that? Mana berries? Ah, this is some of those great weaknesses of this game, I think, to have to look for things while clicking the floor. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, there, I missed something there. The unburied legs. Cheap shield, I uh, don't need. And I don't see any bubbles on the ground here yet. Uh, let's take it. Damned. What happens if I try to disarm it? Nothing. No, it's no use. Hmm. Here? No. I can still go through here. Yes, I want to go. Ow! Idiot. Maybe the key is located here somewhere. Ancient skeleton. You're even easier than the other ones. So your bones might not be in that good shape. <laughs> Rudiments of dual force. Ah, sounds like a book to improve my... Oh no! Now I see the problem. Oh well, there's a ghoul there. And it is a magic caster. Ah, fuck, what do I do now? Um, let us use a healing potion. And cast Hartman dead. Which is kinda powerful actually. Yeah, this is very powerful. Be gone! Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that spell. I really like it. Quiver <laughs> cheap helm. Your poison is good. Several gold coins. Beginner's lockpick. Yeah, you. It's <laughs> really useless. Uh, to now. So. Let me do a hard save here. And pause this video really quick because I want to have a 10 minute break now. So what awaits us here in this dungeon? I'm looking forward to it for some bit exploring and, and killing baddies along the way. So uh, yes, um, see you guys soon. And I'm back. So before we venture on, let us read those nifty books I have just collected. Um, maybe they will give us some increase on the on the yeah on our skills. As for example, this one teaches mind magic plus four, which we shall read. Archmage's book of mind magic. Excuse me. Ugh. Um. Um, this is the skill that helps casting mind magic spells to dominate and control your enemies. In an old incarnation, you used this ability to muddy the mind of the evil witch queen, St uh, Stregil, uh, Stregil, or so, I don't know, until her strength dropped and you were able to cut her down. It helps you cast spells such as Drain Mana, Calm, Curse, Paralyze, and Sap Will. This, sp this skill is enhanced if you have a high level of intelligence and is available to everyone. Your mind magic skill has been increased by four. Nice thing! So, what else? Already red, already red, already red, red, haven't read. Teaches dual wield plus five, cool. Rudiments of dual force. Feel the potency of wielding two weapons. Blood shall flow from the strikes of your right hand while your left bites as deep as a serpent's fangs. But to use the skill well, increase your dexterity. Your dual wield skill has been increased by five. Okay. Haven't read the Dragon of the North. Oh, that sounds like a bigger story. Oh yes, it is. Okay, the Dragon of the North. Long ago, there lived a terrible dragon which came from the north to lay waste to the land. Its body was like an ox, its legs like a giant frog, and its tail like a serpent. His head was the head of a serpent. From his nostrils, mucus trickles. Ea, Lord of the Deeps. No, oh, excuse me, uh, wrong, uh, wrong text. 
Nothing could harm it, for its whole body was covered with scales harder than any stone or metal known to man. Its two great eyes shone like la lanterns and, if you looked into them, you became bewitched into rushing headlong into its jaws. It could only be killed by means of King Solomon's ring, sure. But no one knew where this ring was hidden. So although a huge reward had been offered for the dragon's death, it still flourished, all the while destroying the neighborhood. One day, a courageous young man heard about the reward and set off to find the ring. He met a famous magician from the east who helped him from learn the language of birds they, the magician, magician said, would lead him to the ring. If the boy brought, brought the magician the ring, he could interpret its symbols. The young man promised to repay the mage with part of the rewarded money if he could slay the dragon. The young man sat into the forest and one night sat under a tree where he heard two birds talking. He heard them tell of a witch girl which, who would come to a spring nearby to wash her face when the moon was full. The birds told the boy she could, fill, she could help him fulfill his quest to find the ring. They led him to the spring and he waited. Suddenly he heard a sound and a beautiful young girl glided by. He glided by? Oh. He watched with delight as she washed her face using her long hair wet from the pool. As she dried her face, she, she saw him and was angry, yet she spared him the punishment her magic could have brought and asked him to come with her. The young man agreed, and when they reached the girl's house, he found she did indeed have King Solomon's ring. The young man had to trick her into letting him put it, letting, had to trick her into letting him put it on his finger, because one of the powers of the ring was invincibility. He managed to slip away from the beautiful maiden and r ran back to the magician of the east. The magician was happy that the young man's search had been successful. He interpreted the secret signs engraved upon the ring that gave instruction how to overcome the dragon of the north. The youth had to make an iron horse on wheels and arm himself with a gigantic spear which the ring would help him wield. The spear had to be as thick as a large tree and deadly sharp. It had to have two chains in the middle to fasten the dragon on iron stakes in the earth once the youth had spared it. After two or three days the monster's strength would be so far gone that he would be able to come near him and give him the final stroke. But he had to keep the ring of invincibility on his finger so the monster could not, could not lash him with his tail. The young man thanked the magician for his direction and promised again should he succeed to reward him. When the dragon saw the boy, he had his monstrous jaws wide open, all ready for this expected prey. The youth trembled with horror but did not lose his courage. He did as the mage had instructed and felt the dragon. The death struggle of the monster lasted three days and three nights and sounded like an earthquake. Finally the dra dragon la lay lifeless. The entire kingdom rejoiced and the young man, after some further struggle, got his reward. If you had been the prince, would you have st stayed with a pretty, with a pretty witch maiden? Uh, not if I can save a kingdom by killing a dragon, maybe. Uh, I don't know. What a beautiful story. The unburied legs. Oh, another one. Long? No, not that long. The unburied legs. There once lived a beautiful, wealthy young woman who was the lady of a strong castle. Two young knights were interested in marrying her. One was fair and graceful, the other was dark and squat. The lady liked the fair knight best, which made her, which made the other jealous. He determined to get, get access to the other's bedroom at night while he was helplessly sleeping and cut off his head with an axe. To make things easier, the dark knight gave the fair one more wine than he was used to drinking. The fair knight was so drunk when he lay down that, that night that he put his feet where his head should be. His rival did not notice that he was chopping off the knight's legs, thinking him to be his head, uh, thinking them to be his head. With the next blow of the axe, he killed him. The corpse was put in a sack and given a proper burial. But the knight's legs were thrown into a hole in the garden and covered up. The dark knight persuaded the lady that her first suitor had gone home, and so they were married. In the middle of the feasting, a horn was heard outside the castle, and footsteps heard asc ascending the great staircase. The doors of the great hall were thrown open and in walked two bodiless legs. The wielding party screamed and scattered. The bride fainted and the legs followed the groom everywhere until he ran out of the castle. It was said that from that time on, the legs followed the dark knight everywhere until he wasted and fell into a decay. When he was dying he confessed to his crime and asked that the legs be dug up and buried with the rest of the body. But they were never found and ghostly legs may still be seen at, night, at times walking that countryside. Creepy. No, no, sorry, no. Can't look. Well, we should sell those books. Those st stories uh, are, yeah. I don't know what to think about them. Um, let us heal a bit before venturing on. 
Okay. That's a fight coming up, right? Five hundred gold. Five hundred gold. And a spiked maze. Totally crap. Ow! Oh, you ghoul. Oh, I will use my hurt undead spell again. I kind of like it. I think it's not very recommendable to um, try to beat them going melee with them. So... Uh, come on, that's there. Ow! Um, drink potion. Okay, but my mana is depleting too fast still. But he should be dead now, I think. Yep, he is dead. Okay, save game. Only. Can I rest? Yeah, let us rest. I think I have plenty of food, so... Okay. What's that? Starflower. Huh? Oh, let us pick that up. Maybe I will do some increase on the... Um, 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 um... Um... Uh, alchemy skill. So, is there something here? No. I only venture down here. Ancient ghoul! Ugh. Throwing blade. What is it? Hmm. Uh, I think that guy is nasty. I have a strange feeling that guy is nasty. You've been infected by plague. Okay, let's not care about that. I I, I'm poisoned. Yes, no one cares. I hope I have um, cure plague. And he's dead. Okay. So, no, not inventory. Uh, potion. Um, only one still poison left. Hmm. Do I have your plague? Oh, let's use this your poison. Your plague. Okay, you have been cured of plague. Good. Okay, rest again. Oh, let's let's find out what's what else is going on here. I hope this was the only um, ancient ghoul. Oh, this, I think, this is more a dungeon for the undead uh, type of player. It's kind of huge. Oh, it's called Abandoned Mine. I didn't look that up. Okay. We weren't able to enter here. Let's mark it on our map so I won't be looking for it. At all. Okay. So. Ah, I'm tempted to save every few steps I'm taking. Ancient ghoul, not again. Oh fuck, let's restore our game first. Nah, this is um I want to rest first. Yeah, I know that monster's wrong. Let's escape. 